Welcome back, folks. If you hadn't heard already, today is National Puppy Day, and we're celebrating in a big way with little guys. This is Cosmos, and that's Lucky. And they just came into the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region today, oh, Sister so Lulu. Shy. But they're not available quite yet. They just came in, but they're going to be available soon. Of so course, cute. you can go to the website for more information on how to adopt these little guys who will be available soon. Meanwhile, we just get to cut We're not them. letting them go. No. And th and thanks to Gretchen for rushing them down here, too. I know. Gretchen, you know like, huge oh. thank you to her I, last <laughs> minute, for sure. I really see Lucky as a future meteorologist, so if Lucky wanted to do the forecast with me, that would be totally fine. Um, <laughs> but, you know, maybe down the line. Man, oh, Lucky's look so brave. Well, nice day to walk. These dogs may be a little too little to walk today. You know, a small dog warning for that you wind. You can carry them. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness, yes, yeah. they need an anchor. Of they're, like, they're like pocket They pets. would blow away. They're they so are. cute. It is so blustery out there, so watch out, you guys, okay? We'll play All with right. the pups. We are trying. All right, sounds good. Wow. Excellent. We are tracking those blustery winds to continue overnight tonight. Oh, dear. No one wants to go and see weather now. No one. No one. <laughs> but we are tracking those blustery winds. And those blustery winds are expected to stick around over the next 24 hours or so. And as a result of those breezy conditions, along with just our dry conditions, too, we do have some elevated fire danger. So we're watching for that. Here's a live look from our Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Those wind speeds, take a look. They are extremely blustery. 14 mile per hour winds in Colorado Springs and in Denver, 29 mile per hour winds there. And I-70 east of Denver too, yeah, it's blustery in the teens and 20 mile per hour zones. So I'm just trying to affirm and really make clear that we are dealing with some high fire danger, especially for the areas shaded in red Alamosa, Burlington, Walsenburg, and Trinidad. This red flag warning lasts through tonight around 7 p.m. for most spots. And again, all of those areas shaded in red, so try to avoid any sort of activities that could lead Lead to sparking any sort of fires. We want to be very careful and want to avoid that as much as possible. Right now, temperature is sitting cool, nice and comfortable, warm, I should say, relatively warm in the 50s along the I 25 corridor in the eastern plains, a similar story, or even tracking the lower 60s right now for Salida. Live HD Doppler radar is showing just some of that shower activity, but just very much to the left of this map. We'll continue to see these showers become a bit more uniform and widespread as the afternoon and evening uh, progresses. You're Skycast does show that 7:30. Everyone else staying pretty dry, dealing with pretty crystal clear conditions. Not a lot of clouds to go around, but we are tracking some of those mountain showers. In fact, central mountains could tack on a couple of inches by tomorrow morning. But everyone else is looking pretty dry. Teller County, you might see a sprinkle or two overnight tonight, but really shouldn't be much in the way of anything. Just enough to kind of dirty up the car. Seven-day forecast shows that we are keeping in those showers Wednesday afternoon into the evening hours and lasting overnight through Thursday. Now. We'll have to track just the path and intensity of the storm very carefully. At this point, I anticipate roads will be too warm for a lot of instant freezing to happen just in time for your evening commute. However, by Thursday morning, we could see just some snow accumulation for our typical areas, Palmer Divide, Teller County. But again, we'll have to monitor it very carefully. Friday through Sunday, we are tracking partly sunny skies and the opportunity for some of those showers on Monday. In Pueblo, seven day forecast does show that temperatures tomorrow pretty similar to what we're dealing with today, expected to deal with this afternoon. Lower 70s then, dropping to the upper 50s on Wednesday and then Thursday through the weekend, clearing things out. And overnight temperatures expected to range in the 30s. Over to Canyon City we go, 68 tomorrow, and we are tracking the 50s and 60s the rest of the work week. Lower 70s Saturday and into Sunday. Finally, for Delaware County, 51 is tomorrow's high, and we are tracking the 40s and 50s the rest of the way on out. The opportunity for showers, here we go, people, Wednesday afternoon through the evening hours, and then on and off through Thursday. So we'll have to monitor that very, very carefully for you. But as for what to expect throughout the rest of the evening, I got you. Evening Planner coming up next. All right. Thanks, Abby. Yeah. Well, Twitter is another year 